this incredible and frankly shocking moment that was beneath the dignity, the dignity of how a senator should behave. And it is a very incredibly telling moment. I mean, it's obviously indecent and based on a yeah. uh, desire to not have accountability. My reaction was that her behavior was disgraceful. Behaving disgracefully. It was disgusting, it was awful. It was an awful, awful thing that she did. It's awful. Harmful to democracy. Wow. It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to see that CNN and the rest of the media, minus Fox News, are just left-wing DNC parrots. And this latest soy explosion from the usual suspects leaves no mysteries. As you all likely know by now, Senator Martha McCallie triggered the left-wing media bubble when she rejected questions from CNN reporter Manu Raju by dismissing him as a liberal hack. Manu, you're a liberal hack. I'm not talking to you. You're not going to comment? Now, let me just say that I'm not super familiar with Raju, but what I do know of him isn't good. Just casually watching him on CNN, he plays the typically partisan games that we've all come to expect from CNN. Like, he reported fake news about Donald Trump Jr. and then blamed his sources when it was exposed as lies. He put out fake news about Kavanaugh, but when it was refuted, he refused to retract the story. He has a laundry list of liberal hackery that I'll put in the description for you to check out, but as far as I can tell, the label of at least hack is accurate. But leave it to the left-wing activist media to immediately hyperventilate and explode into completely fake and hypocritical outrage. Calls him a, a nasty name. Just, it just demeaned the office. It wasn't exactly what Sarah Palin used to like to call a gotcha question. I, and we're not, I'm not being defensive of him because he's my colleague. When they tell the news media go away, they're telling you at home to go away. That's not just about us, it's about you. They're attacking a fundamental um, part of American freedom. Revealed her contempt for professionalism one of democracy's core tenets. The whole MAGA universe is just going to be trying to weaponize what President Trump has created, which is this groundswell uh, of media hatred. Notice that once again, they're blaming Trump for distrust in the media. Despite the fact that trust in media has been dropping for the last 20 years, and in the last four years, they've only doubled down on the strategy that led to that distrust. How'd that lawsuit go for you, CNN? It was only a few months ago that Nancy Pelosi snapped at a Sinclair news reporter named James Rosen when he asked the question, if she hated President Trump. Now, this was in reference to a Republican who a few days before had said that they were impeaching Trump because they just didn't like the guy. So it wasn't just out of nowhere and Pelosi snapped at him saying, don't mess with me. And so I wonder if you could explain to the American people why the legal rights of a whistleblower uh, should prevail in this political setting over those of President Trump who should ordinarily enjoy a right to confront his accuser. Well, let me just say this. I will say to you, Mr. Republican Talking Points. Do you hate the president, Madam Speaker? Because I don't, Representative I don't Cohen, hate anybody. Representative I don't Cohen, have a great Catholic House. We don't hate anybody, not anybody in the world. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. I know you're all going to be shocked, but CNN and the rest of the unbiased media erupted in applause for their Botox mutant golden god. Wow. Don't don't mess with me. One of the many iconic Nancy Pelosi moments. Absolutely. I loved it. I thought that was Nancy Pelosi at her truest and at her best. She's angry. She's angry with the cheap shot question. But but it's really important for those of us who really um, can't stand the idea of a Trump presidency. <laughs> it was provoked by someone else, but she seized the moment as dramatically as any fiction writer could have provided for any fictional politician in a movie scene. But you all know there's reasons why that was completely different. And it has nothing to do with partisan double standards. It wasn't just Pelosi. Elon Omar snapped at the exact same CNN reporter. Omar took strong exception. This morning you said the president traffic. What is wrong with you? Question about your tweet. You had a tweet saying the president trafficked in hate. I Yes, I tweeted. There's a response. You can run that and have a nice day. But for some odd reason, it didn't receive any media backlash. It's no surprise to anybody watching this, but Elon Omar can say or do whatever she wants and the media is going to run cover for her. But if a Republican does the exact same thing, different standards are applied. And you wonder why Donald Trump got elected. This is in your face corruption, almost to the point of being a big f you to half the country. Look, it's not like this is an important issue, but it exemplifies the problem of having a fourth estate that's been taken over by far left activists pretending to be protectors 
protectors of democracy. They're just using the institution to advance their political agenda and destroy their opponents. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Thanks to all my patrons and subscribe star members. I couldn't do any of this without you. Also, make sure to head on over to my website, dronetechpolitics.com, and check out the discussion forums. Thanks again for watching. Keep coming back.